Clearly, it is all about National Conference Chief <coughs> Farooq Abdullah. He's one of the contestants and the fight promises to be an interesting one. What has been, in fact, interesting is the way uh, Farooq Abdullah and his son Umar Abdullah have been going on this anti-Modi rant, clearly with an eye on the local constituency. He's the big daddy of Kashmir politics, having never lost an election till date. But on April the 30th, Farooq Abdullah faces the most crucial electoral battle of his life. The National Conference patron is seeking a re-election in his bastion, Srinagar. A seat that is both a matter of prestige for the party and a politically crucial constituency. Abdullah's main rival is the PDP's senior leader and former state finance minister, Tariq Hamid Kara. Political observers believe that Farooq's prospects could be hurt by the fact that the main opposition PDP has made deep inroads in all three districts of Bargam, Srinagar and Gandharbal. The low turnout at Farooq's rallies had the party rather nervous. Reading the writing on the wall, 48 hours before Srinagar was to go to the polls, Farooq Abdullah came up with a masterstroke by targeting the BJP's Prime Ministerial nominee Narendra Modi. <laughs> Will Farooq's communal jibe help retain Srinagar? And will the poll boycott catapult Abdullah's dwindling fortunes? Questions that will be answered on the 16th of May. Bureau Report headlines today. Salman Soz of the Congress Party uh, joins me at this point. Uh, Salman, uh, as far as uh, Farooq Abdullah is concerned, he comes out with statements like all Modi voters should drown. That has been part of his campaign, clearly with an eye on the anti-Modi voter constituency base in Srinagar. Why has the Congress been so silent on all these comments being made? Actually, the Congress has not been silent on uh, on these comments because uh, you know I myself have been on national television talking about actually uh, uh, that these kinds of comments are not appropriate. I think if you if you look at the comments uh, and if you look at uh, uh, that in the, uh, the, uh, the the whole discussion, he was asked a question about uh, what Mr. Giri Singh said, and then you saw Mr. Dr. Abdullah getting very upset and saying those who vote for and, uh, as a total reaction. But still, I don't really condone uh, these kinds of comments. If, if there is uh, any danger of communalism in this country, that if the going gets tough, uh, that doesn't mean that the tough hide or the tough run away. We have to take a stand. We have to take a stand for pluralism in this country and we'll fight it out. No, and no, but, uh, out. but uh, I, comments I, I, to the effect uh, that if India becomes communal, if the center becomes communal, then Kashmir will no longer be a part of it. How, how do you react to that? The Congress hasn't been really extremely critical no, of that, Dr. Exactly. Farooq Abdullah at any no, point. No, that's, that's... No, no, no. It, no, no, our, our spokespersons uh, have actually uh, totally uh, rejected these comments uh, because these are not... Look, I mean, uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir is part of this country. We're going to move together and no amount of difficulty is going to kind of, uh, you know, make us run away. We have to take a stand. We want this country to remain a secular plural country, pluralistic country, and we'll fight for that. And these are the values that the Congress believes in, and we'll fight for that. And we we welcome all. But don't you think Dr. that the Abdullah discourse has become abysmally and low? And it is not just Dr. Farooq Abdullah; you know, it is your own leader, away. Priyanka Gandhi, also, who is making statements that have perhaps taken the discourse to an all-time low. Like, uh, could you please tell me about one comment that uh, uh, Priyanka no, Gandhi when, uh, has made? Uh, that uh, making comments like the, the rats will low. hide. Has it? Has it actually? You're a woman. Have you, let, me, let me ask you. We're no, talking no, about like, politicians like right now. Like, I'm just know, an anchor. Like, I'm irrelevant to this entire actually, debate. Right? But I'm asking you. I'm. No, no. no I'm. No, I, I know. I'm glad that you're moderating in a way where you're not editorializing like many of your colleagues uh, around different networks. I'm just suggesting that the kinds of comments that Mr. Subramanian Swami made about Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, which I cannot repeat on national television. Totally, totally ridiculous okay. and unacceptable comments.